اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چیپٹر ایٹ ہیلپ اللہ ہیلپس دوز ہو ہیلپ ہم ان تنصر اللہ ینصرکم و یسبت اقدامکم اف یو ہیلپ اللہ ہی ول ہیلپ یو اینڈ ول کیپ یور فیٹ اسٹیڈ فاسٹ سور محمد ورس سیون بولا ین سرن اللہ می ین سر اینڈ شیورلی اللہ ہیلپس دوز ہو ہیلپ ہم سور حج ورس فورٹی فائیو دا کویسٹنس دیٹ کم فار موسٹ ان دا مائنڈ آفٹر ریڈنگ دا ابو ٹو ورسز از از اٹ پاسبل فار اے مین ٹو ہیلپ اللہ ہاؤ ٹو ہیلپ اللہ How do we know that our help will reach him? As mentioned earlier, mastership and love is the soul of Islam and the reality of faith. In a tradition mentioned above, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam has elucidated the meaning of Allah's satisfaction and his anger. War with him, obeying him, becoming a cause of regret to him. distancing oneself from him etc the gist of this tradition was that when any of these actions obedience regret anger war is performed against allah's chosen ones and his friends allah ascribes these actions to himself for instance obeying the wali of allah amounts to allah's obedience Distancing oneself from the wali of Allah tantamounts to distancing oneself from Allah himself and war with the wali of Allah is equal to going to war against Allah himself. In the light of the above discussion, we can say that helping Allah actually means helping his friends. By this interpretation, one who helps the imams alayhi salam has in fact helped Allah himself. Then, the promise of Allah's help will extend to all those who help his wali, Imam Asr Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. Thus, helping the Imam Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif is one of the most crucial duties of the Shias accompanied with correct mastership and recognition of Ahl Bayt alayhi salam. Of course, in the time of occultation, it is not easy to help Imam Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif as compared to assisting him while he is physically present. Hence, in the discussion of awaiting, we propounded the idea of the intention to help Imam Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif and explained that according to the traditions. One who sincerely intends to help امام اجل اللہ تعالیٰ فرجہ الشریف وائل ہی از ان اکلٹیشن اللہ ول ریوارڈ ہم پیورلی آن ہز انٹینشن سو ون ہو سنسیئرلی انٹینڈ ٹو ہیلپ امام اجل اللہ تعالیٰ فرجہ الشریف مسٹ ڈو سو انڈر اینی پرٹیکسٹ اینڈ ٹو واٹ ایور ایکسٹینڈ پاسبل ون وے آف ہیلپنگ امام اجل اللہ تعالیٰ فرجہ الشریف ان اکلٹیشن از بائی سپورٹنگ ہم ود دا ٹنگ In this regard, Imam Hussain alayhi salam declares, My grandfather informed me that my son Hussain will be killed in the desert of Karbala. While I am a stranger, totally alone in a condition of extreme thirst, then whoever helps him has helped me and my son Qaim. And whoever helps me with his tongue, he will be in our company on the day of judgment. Mikyal al-Makarim, Volume 1, page 507. This statement was made by the chief of martyrs, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, on the eve of Ashura, in front of his companions. His assertion implies that everyone should assist his Imam in every possible manner. One of the means to extend help and support to Imam is by the tongue. By doing this, 
one will attain status of the martyrs of the highest level. Imam Musa Kazim alayhi salam declares, one who helps Allah and his messenger in occultation and defends Imam Jalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif from the side of Allah and his messenger will be among the martyrs of the highest standing on the day of judgment. We have been commanded to help and defend Imam from Allah's side and his messenger's side even in his occultation and not just in his presence. It is possible to help Imam Jalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif in several forms and one of these is the tongue. One can make the hearts of the people attentive towards the Ahlubayt alayhi salam through speech. He can employ his tongue to revive the remembrance of Imams alayhi salam by reciting eulogies and poems related to the Imams alayhi salam by simply narrating their virtues and excellence and or by recounting their traditions so as to establish their superiority over all others. Debale Khuzai was among the poets of Ali Muhammad salam, and praised them excessively and narrated their virtues abundantly in his poems and eulogies. Once he went to meet Imam Ali Raza salam, on the day of Ashura. When Imam salam, saw him, he exclaimed, Welcome, O Debal! Welcome, O our helper with the hand and tongue. Then Imam alayhi salam made some place and seated Debal Rahmatullah alay right next to himself. Imam alayhi salam asked Debal to recite poems on the afflictions of Imam Hussain alayhi salam and said to him, O Debal, recite eulogies for Imam Hussain alayhi salam. You are our helper an exalter for the rest of your life. Then do not neglect to help us in whatever way you can. This is Imam's recommendation not only to Debal but to all Shias in the period of occultation. They should help the cause of Imamat and Mastership in whatever way they can. Hence, Every step towards the exaltation and propagation of the remembrance of Imams alayhi salam will be accounted as help and support to their cause. And Allah's promise extends to all those who fall in this category. Allah promises to help them and keep them steadfast. These glad tidings of help and steadfastness apply more to the Shias in the period of occultation. As the perils of irreligiousness, faithlessness and lapses are more severe in this period than all the previous periods. Then those who wish to secure for themselves the good fortune of Allah's help and support should endeavor to propagate the virtues and remembrance of the Imams alayhi salam with all possible means. They should understand the gravity of this responsibility and never be negligent of it. If we do this, then Allah will protect us from all pitfalls in occultation and will catch our hands in slippery places. The manifestation of Allah's grace and mercy is the holy existence of Imam Asr Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. The one who helps him attracts the grace and bounty of Imam Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif towards himself and makes himself aspirant for Allah's light of guidance and recognition. One of the ways of helping Imam Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif and attracting his attention is by praying for the hastening of his reappearance. Imam alayhi salam considers this help as a favor from his Shias and therefore he never forsakes his Shias. Then one who prays for Imam alayhi salam attracts Imam alayhi salam's supplication and attention towards himself and becomes eligible for his favors.
In the time of Mutawakkil, the Abbasid Emperor, one person, Abdul Rahman, staying in Isfahan, had converted to Shiism. He was asked, How did you start believing in the Imamat of Ali Naki alayhi salam? He replied, I witnessed an incident that became instrumental in my becoming a Shia. I was very poor. So much so that I did not dare to speak out of shame of my poverty. One day, the people of Isfahan expelled me from the city. I, along with some others, went to Mutawakkil to complain about the treatment of the people. When we reached the threshold of the court, Mutawakkil issued an order to summon Ali ibn Muhammad al-Raza alayhi salam. I asked one of the men, Who is this person who has been summoned by Mutawakkil? He replied, He is one of the Alawis and the Shias believe in his Imamat. Mutawakkil has summoned him to kill him. At this, I said to myself, I will not leave until I see this man. Abdul Rahman recounts, The man came riding on his horse while the people thronged to catch a glimpse of him. There were people standing in rows on his right and left. When I saw him, my heart brimmed with his love. I began praying, May Allah remove the evil of Mutawakkil from him. He advanced forward, keeping his sight fixed on the mane of the horse, not looking either left or right. I began praying for him sincerely. When he passed in front of me, he looked at me and said, Istajabu Allahu du'aak wa tawalla umrak wa kasara malaka wa waladak. May Allah accept your prayers, prolong your life, and multiply your wealth and children. He continues, I was shaken with the awe of His Majesty and collapsed among my companions. They asked me as to what had happened. I replied, nothing. I did not breathe a word about this to anyone. After this incident had transpired, I returned to Isfahan. Then due to the blessings of my prayers for Imam's safety, Allah expanded my means of income. And today, I have a million dirham at home, in addition to what I have outside the house. Allah has given me ten sons, while my age is over seventy. And I am believing in the Imamat of the One, who knew what was in my heart, and Allah accepted his supplication for me. al kharaij kutub rawandi Chapter 11 about miracles of Imam Hadi alayhi salam. This is but a small specimen of Imam alayhi salam's favors at a time when the person does not even believe in his imamat and has no trace of his mastership. Now, if we acknowledge his imamat and mastership, pray for his safety. Is it possible that his favours and grace remain concealed from us? Is it possible that he is aware of the one who prays for him but is not attentive towards him and neglects him? The truth is far from this. It is Allah's promise that he helps the one who helps him through Imam alayhi salam.